everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video, we are progressing my rural Japanese island. My goal is basically to get this island finished by Sunday. So I'm crossing my fingers, I can make that deadline. If you're new to my channel, I've been able to create islands in three days before. And I know that sounds dramatic and literally impossible, but I have. And I've actually documented a lot of that on streams and in a video too. So basically my style for this island theme is very rustic and kind of retro in a way, I guess. I'm going for a lot of neon and overgrown vibes there's going to be a dedicated village area which is kind of primarily focused near the edge of my map and also near the center of it i'm going to be incorporating a lot of overgrown and landscaped areas hopefully i can get a lot of my ideas into this island because as you can see on my map i've already done quite a bit now there is going to be quite a bit of transitions in this video because this is actually two days worth of gameplay that I have compressed into one video. I also want to add that during a market way alley build, which you'll see later on, I lost half the footage to that. I have no idea what happened, but OBS has been glitching out for me constantly. So uh, I lost pretty much a lot of the decorating on this build, but at least I got the main structure part and that is this build right here. So please bear with me and definitely pause as needed. I'll kind of highlight what I did over here just because I did not expect that footage to be completely messed up. So a lot of my busy market village kind of areas are gonna be in this location. We're gonna have a lot of clutter going on here. So if you see any item loading or lag, it's gonna be completely normal just because I really wanted this area to be packed and highlight a lot of those busy market streets in Japan. So I wanted to put this in here that my island is really not inspired by any real life locations in Japan. It's kind of like my own fictional town that I've took different pieces of areas now in Japan that I really loved and inspired me but I kind of just like mashed them all into one giant city and fictional town. If you see any references I hope y'all noticed but um, let me know what you think certain locations look like in the comment section below. I'm curious to see if y'all know what areas I took inspiration from. Once we finish this island along with my Disney dreamlike content we're going to be focusing on winter themes. I'm actually going to be continuing that winter monotone city video we did and then I'm hoping to finally do Christmas in New York. If you're new to my channel, it was a theme I was hoping to do last year, but I never committed to it just for a lot of personal reasons. But this year, I definitely want to get that island done and just redo it in general. So this location here is that market spot that y'all saw that was completely finished. And I'm going to be using stalls in this build, which is kind of weird for me because in a way, I really don't see people using those anymore ever since we got 2.0 but I think that people forget that it's such a great item for city core still. I love it for table lamps looking like little lanterns that are just displayed. It just adds a lot of glowy illumination. So I'm gonna be making use of stalls. We're also gonna be making use of bookshelf. I feel like that's another item people forget that is still very good for city core. And then of course storefronts in the retro transportation stop. So as mentioned in the beginning of this video, I lost a lot of the footage for this build, but the structure that you're seeing right now is gonna be the exact same layout for the other side of this build. A lot of my illumination is gonna be the LCD TVs, the VCR TV, and also the electric sign and LED sign. And then I'm just gonna like layer with them so it has a lot of illumination like billboards. And then the top levels of this build is gonna consist of mostly the retro transportation stop rotated in different angles and also the stalls. And inside the stalls, I just use the customized lantern code. I actually found that just under criteria search on the online design app by typing in lantern. That's gonna be on the stalls and also some blossom lanterns just to kind of like break it up a little bit. The main centerpiece of this build is actually inspired by my modern Japanese house build. I loved how this looked with the fence item. It just really added some realism to this build and just more illumination since I'm planning to keep this island around the evening time. It's just because I love lights in general on this game. So that is where a lot of the structure inspo went from, which is, as mentioned, I did lose some of the footage, but I followed the exact layout of that modern Japanese house. 
I will have that video linked in the video's description as well as my marketplace video since a lot of my builds on today's video too will be consisting of inspiration from that video as well. Feel free to pause this video as needed, especially if you're recreating this location just to get the idea of all the item placement that I did. A lot of the placement for the top levels is actually very similar to my marketplace build video that we did on the channel and also very similar to the way that you're going to see later on where we build basically a continuation of that vibe but instead it's just going to be a small cluttered street that transitions towards the edge of my map. Before I actually focus on that build though I'm going to finish off this transition to my farm area. As you can see this is the location I never finished from the first video of this island and I I had no idea really what I was going to do over here because after I do the road transition, the space is very limited. I actually went for the simple option and that is just using a ton of the wheat fields. The way that I ended up placing these and made the location feel so much bigger and it just blended beautifully with that build. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out even with its simplicity. Plus my island is going to be very laggy as is. So I'm trying to reduce items as much as possible in certain locations, but I was very pleased honestly with how this location ended up turning out I didn't have high hopes for it I'll be real with y'all I thought this was gonna not look good whatsoever but having like the crops and the distance with it I just feel like the build turned out much better than I was expecting and I'm very happy about that now that I have that first little area of the wheat field finished I'm gonna frame the location in with safety railing I ended up changing the layout a few times of those so bear with me as the layout will change just a little bit uh, later on in the video but as you can see, this location already is starting to feel so much bigger than what it really is. I am so excited about this. All right, so now that the location over there is finished, it's time to focus on the continuation of that alleyway. But instead of it being another alleyway, I'm kind of just doing a very skinny market-like street. This is on the right side of the marketway alley, and I actually just kind of filled in this weird gap behind the villager house with a small parking lot. And then that kind of just helped it transition into the build. Now this location is very similar structure wise to the build in front of my plaza, which I did record the whole entire process on my channel. Again, those videos will be linked in the video's description, but I'm kind of changing up a little bit so it's not like exactly the same, but I just feel like that structure and style of these builds fit my theme beautifully. So I'm gonna be making use of a lot of those builds, not to mention it doesn't require very many custom design codes for like windows and stuff. So I think that is such a great option if you're trying to make use of a lot of your designs on your roads and just like billboards in general. This street is mostly just gonna be a bunch of different shops and then I'm gonna have a very small little ramen stall at the front of this. I felt like that just added so much color to the build and changed it up a little bit. So it wasn't too matchy with my plaza, but I'm very happy with how this whole location turned out. I think it looks pretty dang cool at nighttime with all the illumination going on. And then I have no idea really what my plan is at the edge of the map. I did try to do a small shop at the edge and kept it pretty simple. So I'll show y'all how that looks at the end of this video and y'all let me know if it's worth keeping or if I should just like make it a look out to the um, ocean. So you see how a lot of this layout on the second level looks? That's pretty much the structure style that I did on that market way alleyway. And then I of course placed the stalls at the outer parts like you're seeing right now and decorated them. So in case you were like, how did this get layered and how did she build it? That is pretty much structure wise what I did. So now I'm just gonna blend out the edge of these buildings. A lot of the designs that I'm using, I actually just found on Pinterest searching ACNH Japanese designs, but I will have them mentioned and written out in the video's description for y'all. So here is how that cluttered Market Street ended up looking out. As mentioned, there is a building in the distance that I couldn't really add too much height with, but it was another shop. And I'll show y'all kind of how the whole island is starting to look and flow uh, with a final walkthrough before this video ends. I'm completely shocked with how much progress I made on this island in the last couple of days. This theme has been very fun to create, but it's also really out of my comfort zone. I know a lot of y'all who are asking for my take on a rural type of village, and this is obviously my take on it, and I've been really enjoying just the vibe in general. Not sure what the rest of the island is going to consist of yet. I'm just kind of going with the flow and seeing what happens, but I'll definitely be progressing the island more today, and hopefully by next video, we will have either more progress or if the best case scenario happens, maybe a dream address drop. So y'all stay tuned and make sure your notifications are turned on. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.